it falls directly under his ministry. This girl, I'm saying, issues. The mining issue falls under him. And you know, there's a, a, a deputy who is in charge of those areas, Mikuduka. He, his own hometown, where his constituency is, is not spared. And it looks as if there's a huge institution at the Jubilee House that supervises this illegal act. Some will argue that uh, firing the land minister uh, is not the way to go. It needs to be a bit hard. Firing the worst thing that anyone can suffer is a minister losing his job as a minister because of the fact that he couldn't perform. And this is a very, very sensitive issue. So if you have minister as like two deputy ministers in charge of lands and forestry, and they cannot protect our mineral body, the best punishment you can give to them is to sack them. And whoever comes to you, give him what uh, the, the presidency intends to see, so far as that area is concerned. But within the three months, I can bet you nothing is going to happen because we are getting into elections. 